Hey guys, Kenny here, RV Outlet USA, coming to you from beautiful Ringo, Virginia. Uh, we're here to do a little walk around on the Ace Motor Coach. We have a special guest, Mark Anders, factory rep from Thor. He's going to tell us a little bit about this coach. Thanks for having me out today, Kenny. Today we're going to go over the Ace. Uh, we've got a lot of nice features. We've got the brow up front that's going to extend the bump 10 inches forward uh, for sleeping capabilities and also storage. Uh, we've also got all our cameras in our mirrors uh, that will actuate when you turn your left or right blinker on in this coach. And as well, we have the nice pet window, what I like to call the trucker's window. This is going to be for safety uh, when you're riding down the road, but also the animals like to uh, sit in here and lay down and, and look out the window. Um, next, we have all frameless windows on all Thor products. The frameless window is going to keep the sun off of your seals and allow that seal not to dry up. Um, many more features, this is gonna be an HD Max finish. Uh, this color is gonna run halfway through the fiberglass of this coach, so you won't have any chalking of the material. Um, new for 17 and a halfs, we've got the new rotary latch door system on all four products, which is gonna be a nice addition to all 17 and a half doors. Uh, moving on down, We've got access to your batteries, but we also do the D-ring for your pets. Um, Thor designs a lot of different features on our coaches to allow you to have good features with your pets. You can run your leash up through here and come right through the D-ring to tie your, your dog out, or you can tie your bikes or whatever it might be. Um, also new for 17 and a half, our TVs are going to admit sound through the speakers. Um, this is a really big deal we added for 17 and a half, and we also did the new swivel for the TV, where that'll come in and out of the RV itself. Rotocast storage compartments on all our products, 300 pounds capability. This is not going to rust, mold, or mildew. LED lights, new for 17 and a half. Um, this is going to allow your lights not to heat up and get hot in a uh, situation of leaving them on overnight. Um, next, what we do is we're going to actually paint the refrigerator return, the, the furnace return, and the hot water heater return. We're the only manufacturer that's doing that in this industry, and it makes the coach look like a painted coach. Uh, most RVs are just going to be black here. Moving on down, just a lot of good storage on this. Some of our RVs will even have pass-through storage. This one doesn't. But up front here, we can see right here, we've got a place to put our lounge chairs, our fishing poles, uh, different stuff like that. Moving on down, uh, Thor Motor Coach put the outdoor kitchen in our products several years ago. Uh, this has been a great addition and also with that, all our coaches are going to come with an 800 watt inverter with an outdoor kitchen. Um, we also going to have the, the gas grill connection and also has the gas grill with this coach as well. A lot of different features on the Ace 303 that we have standard on this coach and one would be the max air vents are going to be standard on all Thor products. Um, food for 17 and a half, we're also putting an extra material on the awning to keep that from fading as well. Uh, along with that, all our op openings on all our products will be framed in aluminum. Um, I can't stress this to you enough that most RV manufacturers are just going to route this out and use the window as framing on all fours. Every exterior opening in this coach will be framed out in aluminum. The only thing we wouldn't frame out in aluminum would be your power outlet or your speaker due to them having power and if that would lay on aluminum it would send current through the coach. Uh, next, we're going to have all EGS steel strapping in our units. That's going to allow everything to be mounted to steel in all our products including ladders, cabinets, and the rear your ladder is going to also be mounted to steel. That's 300 pounds capability on this coach. All four motor coaches are a full walk-on roof. There is no weight restrictions on these coaches. All our Thor products are going to have an 8,000 pound hitch on them. Uh, that would be back in 2016 when we started doing that. Along with rear fuel fill. This is a great feature because you don't have to decide which side the fuel fill is on. You simply back into the gas station and look in your rear camera and you can fill up from either side. Um, along with this we're going to have the steel bumper. And what I like about the steel bumper is a first time buyer bikes this into a power pole or a park bench they're not going to damage their whole rear fiberglass cap and have to replace that. It's just going to take that off the steel bumper. Along with that, we're going to have the seven-way round on all our coaches. 
This coach is equipped with plug and play. So you just unravel that underneath the steering column and plug straight into that. Mark, tell us a little bit about the Ace. I know this is one of the key features in the Ace Evolution you were speaking of, with this overhead bunk, which a lot of the A-class do not have. This one seems to have a nice roomy overhead bunk here. Tell us a little bit what we're looking at. It is. We've got a lot of nice storage back here. And like I was talking about earlier, Kenya, the brow sticks out. So that allows you to have a much bigger drop-down bunk than other RVs in the industry. Also with all the storage back there. Uh, it comes with a nice ladder. But yes, this is... Um, we test this at 500 pounds, but we're going to rate it at 250 pounds. And that's going to be a power uh, lift on this coach. Um, and it's been doing very well for us. We designed this. And a 12 volt outlet. Um, one of my biggest features I like to talk about is our fiberglass doghouse. Uh, we've been doing this in most of our products for two years now. And what this does is it gets rid of the carpet and it gets rid of the wood. And what I mean by that is most RVs are going to have wood over your V10 engine. And with the heat and cold, that's going to expand and contract, and it's going to allow fumes and, and uh, noise to come up through that. With a fiberglass doghouse, it's not going to do that. Um, also, we've got the nice breakfast table here. Uh, this will be stored nicely in the rear closet, new for 17 and a half and all Thor products. Um, so it makes it a nice addition where you can actually sit six adults in this coach and eat dinner. Um, next, up front, we're going to have an HDMI plug. Uh, this is going to allow you to run anything off an Android or an Apple phone to this head unit. It will mirror it. Uh, so that's a nice option as well for Google Maps or whatever it might be, Pandora, um, it's up to you. Um, also standard on the ACE is going to be the four point leveling system along with the emergency start. Um, we got a lot of nice features in this coach. Um, your, both your chairs are going to swivel and rotate. You've also got a nice drop down in the floor. This is going to allow you to have 84 inch height ceilings in this coach where most RVs are a 76. Again, mentioning that we have all EGS steel strapping, that's my magnet, I'm going to take that off. Uh, we've also got the nice mud room to store your um, shoes and so on throughout the uh, ownership of your coach. We've also got a nice storage compartment here for your gloves, screwdrivers, whatever it might be. And again, we've also got another nice storage compartment that'll be accessible as well. Um, I'd like to point out the fact that we don't run a lot of heat ducts in our floor. We're gonna have all our heat ducts ran in all our furniture or cabinets. You might find one in a floor plan up front because we don't have somewhere to mount it, but that's a big feature because we're not gonna have a lot of ducts running down through the floor. New on the 303 is gonna be the pop-up TV. That's gonna allow this TV to go up and down, which is a very nice feature, but it still allows you to have a lot of countertop space here and also new, for 17 and a half is a stainless steel sink with a pull down sink. Earlier about the Max Air vent covers, but also we have our vents where they will run where they're closed. Uh, this is a big feature. It won't allow dust and stuff like that to come into your RV. We've also got nice AC ducts down throughout the coach that you can close up and dump all the air conditioning in the bedroom. And being that the air conditioner is the center location, it's not going to be hot or cold throughout the coach uh, due to location of the AC. Um, we've also got the nice drop down jackknife uh, sleeper and new for 17 and a half we have a place to store your ladder for your bunk. Um, next we've got your nice booth here which we do the nice angle here so you can sit back and relax but also new for 17 and a half we got rid of the poles in the floor and now you've got the quick down easy drop for your booth. Nice privacy door in this model as well along with a full framed out bathroom door. Along with the piano hinge, it's going to keep the hinge lasting for years. But the main feature I'd like to point out about this RV is all our products are going to be ducted with heat and AC in the bathroom. Most RVs are going to have a cutout at the top of the door to allow AC to flow into the bathroom and that simply does not work. Next, we've got a lot of nice features in the Ace. We've got the pet dish. Um, this is a great addition for your animals, but also to keep your shampoo, soaps, and stuff of that nature. Um, we got a really good solid shower floor in all our coaches, along with an angled shower curtain that's going to allow you to, to have the biggest shower in a 30 foot coach. A lot of nice features in the rear of this coach. Uh, first, I'd like to point out that we put Better Home and Gardens design in all our products in the Ace. Um, we've also got the nice fitted bedspread. Uh, this is a nice addition. This is not going to allow your bedspread to go in the floor when you're driving down the road. Also, you're going to have storage behind your TV. 
USB ports for extra power charging so you're not using up your 110 outlets. And remember with your inverter on outdoor kitchen coach, all your TV plugs are going to be hot riding down the road without the generator on. We've also got another attic fan in the bedroom that you can run as well with it closed. But the main feature I'd like to point out is the outdoor uh, radio. This will allow you to do Bluetooth on the outdoor speakers and also in the rear of the coach. still have a lot of features to go over. All four motor coaches the seals are going to be in tracks and they're not going to be glued on. That's going to allow you to have a lot bigger bulb seal on all of our products. The Swintec is going to have the auto correct to keep your slide out coming in uh, straight as well. Also standard is going to be all your slide toppers are standard on all four motor coaches. Um, a lot of nice rear storage in this coach but one thing I'd like to point out about the Ace is all of them have auto transfer switches. This allows you to get power from your generator without having to plug back into the coach and remembering to do that. Moving on down, just a lot of good storage compartments, dump areas, and so on. We got your uh, water pump outside. We also got your water filter right here, so if that does get trash in it, you can pull that out and dump the trash out and put that back on. In most of our products, we also do the blowout valve. This is a nice feature because once you get all the water out of this system, it can't freeze. So you simply put a PSI control in here and push air through the system. We're also going to run the outdoor shower on all of our products for 17 and a half along with the tank flush. Another design that I really like about my coaches is this right here. This is going to allow you to travel down the road and not have stuff leaking out in your storage compartment as well. Moving on down, a lot of good storage compartment here. Uh, another thing I like about the Swintec system is this right here. If this slide out fails, all you simply do is pull these out and push the slide out in. Another feature I like is you can push this button six times, hold it on the seventh, and it'll bring the slide out in in a failure. It'll also flash a code if you're having problems with your Swintec. We use all Cummins, Onan, and all of our products, and simply what this means is service availability is a lot greater than it used to be years ago. Um, these are all going to be need to be changed all about once every 100 hours, and that's something you can do, and also you're going to have a breaker on this unit as well. LP tanks will not lock. This is a great area here. This is our hydraulic system. All our jacks are going to be a hydraulic down and a hydraulic return. But what I like about this system, if you have a failure, they're all color coordinated. So if your back right jack fails and it's purple, all you would simply do is take an Allen wrench and do a quarter turn on each side, pull this cap, put a 5 8 wrench and crank the jack leg right up. I'd like to thank you for your time today or joining me at RV Outlet. Again, my name is Mark Andrus. If you have any questions, please reach out to these guys. Great group of guys here. Thank you.